Hey, Leo. Remember me? Mike from Team Hoy Running Chairs. Hey, buddy. We're shipping your chair today. But I needed to make a video for you so your parents can put their chair, your total custom chair for you, just for you, together. Um, so I'm going to do a little walkthrough for you. So check it out. It's going to be quick. I'm going to get right to the point. I've only put it together once or tw uh, twice now. I took it apart, put it together, put it, took it apart, put it together. I hope I get this right for you. Um, and if you have any issues, I can walk you through it on the telephone. Anyway, so this is the frame, very basic frame here. You're going to pull it out of the box and see this. It's like a mini, it kind of looks like a hockey stick in a way. Uh, this here is your, your equipment tray with the straps on it so that way you can uh, you know, hold everything down, whatever you need there and we're going to have another tube that you can hang things off of and probably put things uh, throughout the, cushions, the cushion in the chair. So that's what you're going to get. You're going to get this piece as part of the main frame and then this piece here you're going to pull out of the box as well. The handlebars will not be on it, I just forgot to took them off. You'll have, uh, we will give you a wrench um, that you can that you can slide this on the handlebars on and tighten them up and this is fully adjustable for the handlebar for you and this adjusts up and down as well here with a twist of a wrench there's a, a nylon block here and that's going to slide in with the handlebars facing forward toward the front of the chair so you're just going to easily line this block up and I'm just going to take my time. I'm not going to try and rush through anything because this is something that we do not want to rush through. That's going to go on just like that and seat flat up against each other. You're going to find, you're going to see a D pin. It's going to come in a plastic bag and the D pin is going to slide through the hole and lock it just like so. This wire here, we leave it hanging um, in the box. This is your brake lever. It's going to slide. There's a piece of black tape here. You probably can't see it from there, from the angle of the camera. You want to slide it on like this. So it's going to look like that. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll take, I'll do an overview after uh, everything's assembled and kind of show you. So you're going to put the brake on the black piece of tape. And this is what my wrench I use in the shop, but it's going to be in this folding wrench. It's the same wrench used to adjust this here. And I'm just going to tighten the, the nut on the lever for the brake. Pretty easy. I'm not going to move the camera now because uh, we've got lots to put on here. I snug it up pretty good so it doesn't go anywhere. It's perfect. It's a... Uh, clicking mechanism one two three four it acts as a drag brake so if you're going down hills you can do a couple clicks and feel resistance in the wheel and you can roll down the hill at a nice controlled speed so next what I'm going to do is put on the wheels specifically the fat wheels check that out huh not bad not bad at all so I'm going to put one wheel on here and I got it on this stand just so it's easier for you to see in the camera. Once the wheels are on, I'm going to put it on the floor so we can work with this. Um, and then let me grab the other wheel. Yeah, right here we put... Your, Leo, your mom gave me two images of the wheel covers. This one's on one side. The other one is on the other side. This is going to reflect at night when the light shines on it or dusk or dawn um, it looks fantastic you grab a pin here Whoop. bear with me up oh, here we go I've got a pin right here put this through so notice this is the brake and I do have regular videos uh, for this this is the disc side, the brake side, with a piece of brass in it. That brass is going to stay in with this hub. And you'll notice this is the long pin, and I'll label it brake on it. And it's got that washer. That washer there is critical. 
you need to have that washer. The washer goes on the outside of the wheel, like so. Okay. And I'm just going to slip it on. I'll send you another video on how to put the brake side wheel on. It's pretty easy, but if you want to review, I have a video I can send you. It's right on our YouTube channel as well. So I'm going to slide this brake on, brake side on here, like so. And then I am going to put... Actually, I changed my mind. Because the camera is there, I'm going to take this side off, leave the other wheel on, because you won't be able to see me putting, you won't be able to see me putting the side rail on. I'm going to shake, shaking the table there. So, you won't be able to see me put the cushion on. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to keep this up here. So this is the mesh that you're going to pull out of the box. It, um, it connects to here and to this here. Okay, So this moves freely here. It allows us to, to fit these pins. These pins are going to fit in here. You want to put the part that has a little droop in it where Leo's head is going to be on the end over there. So what I did last time was, and you guys are probably going to figure out the best way as you do it more and more. Um, what I did was I put one side in and then I adjusted this here, put the other side in like so, and then I just did this side. Also, like so, the same way. Uh, if I can get it here. There we go. There's one. You want to make sure all the Velcro is released, so you have plenty of room to open it up and slide the pins in. Now the next step is we have underneath here. Underneath, you'll see these straps that are sewn to this around the metal tubing. Those are supportive straps, and they click underneath to hold everything together, like so. There's one, and then there's another one here, like so. And then, on the end here, we have... Um, actually, I did this side first. There's a piece of Velcro here. And you know what? I'm going to go like this. I'm going to move this around instead of moving it around. I don't know if you can see that. So right here, this Velcro goes around the bar. And it Velcros to two pieces. You want to match up those pieces underneath, like so. I'm going to do this one as well, like so, okay, and then on the other side, I'm going to do one piece is going to feed through here. There are triangular, right, I think you'll be able to see it, yes, right here. So, you can feed, feed this through here, like that, and this one through here, like that. I would do the, yes, this, this L shape goes last. This first piece, this goes in first. You're going to Velcro to the strip underneath. You'll feel it. It'll stick to it. And then, you're going to take this piece, and it's going to connect everything together underneath here and then you have two side pieces that are gonna velcro as well to these two small pieces here one small strip here one small strip there if it's um, if it's too loose the two supporting straps that I first I first uh, buckled under here 
they tighten. So you can, you can tighten the strap a bit uh, by just adjusting here, and um, and you'll see, you'll see what it is. It's, it's an adjusting strap there. I just made a little more tension on it here, which I probably didn't need to do. Um, but you, you'll want to, you want to kind of get a feel for Leo on what, you know, what position looks a little better for him, uh, what's more comfortable for him, of course. And you know, that's just probably just a matter of playing around because the. You can tighten this mesh up, or you can loosen it so it kind of droops for a little more comfort. You have that option. On top are two straps that are going to go over uh, his body here and uh, just above his waist here, so um, so he doesn't go anywhere. Um, also, the next step is the cushion that sits inside. Of the mesh so the buckles are going to come out of the mesh and hang out and then the cushion where Leo's head is going to be is up here and we made this to kind of see that kind of it'll keep keep distance from the front wheel there's a piece of velcro right here on the cushion the back of the cushion that velcro you want to match this is the, I don't know whether they call it hook or loop of the Velcro, but it's the rough part of the Velcro is going to match up with the soft part of the Velcro going the same way. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to match this up here and get it nice and square, like so. Okay. And this is going to lie down right here. And you'll notice this looks tilted. The only reason why this whole thing looks tilted is because the stand is not even. That's all. I will, I'll take it off in a moment and I'll put the wheels on. You'll see it's perfectly parallel. Um, this here is as he grows, he'll be able to, well, you could, you have options here. You can either A, and I think we went over this in that, in that video call that we did with you, Meredith. Uh, a, you could be up here like that, like a little wall. You can make it flat, like so, so it can extend. Or I noticed in some of his pictures, his feet were down a little bit. You can do that, keep it down, make it come down here. For now, we'll just go flat, we'll go parallel here and here, okay? So that's the cushion. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh. Also, um, we have, like we, sh like we showed you on that conference call, we made a wedge. It has, again, it has a rough strip of Velcro here. That's going to allow you to simply just, there's a hinge. Katie's awesome. She made a nice, like, hinge mechanism here in the cushion for just his waist to come up. Because I know you were concerned about... If the whole thing goes up and down, and I get it, he he possibly could slide. It's still you if if maybe maybe that's an option for the future. I don't know, but you can you do under here. You'll see the pin in this triangle here. You can do the whole thing up and down. Right now we have it set for parallel, uh, but you can use this wedge simply by putting it up here, and you'll notice. You go here, you can go more. The further in, obviously, the more. Or you can bring it out. And again, there's a strip here and here. Small strip of Velcro just to keep it from, you know, uh, sliding out if you have it in. So that's, that's his wedge there. Uh, right there. Again, it looks extreme because the whole chair is tilted back because it's on the stand. Um, so that's that. Also, if... You know, we're thinking if he does tend to slide down, we made this block here. There's a soft piece of Velcro on the bottom part of his of his body, from his midsection down, um, and we have the rough here. It's just a small, it's a block. That way, if he tends to scooch down, the block can will still be there and be able to, uh, you know, support him there so he doesn't slide down so much, like so. So we thought that was pretty cool. And, and, you know, you can adjust it anywhere, up or down in the chair. 
So that's that. Uh, the next thing is we have for you the this bag here. And let me uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. Okay, I think that may work. I think. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we got this bag here. So whatever you need to put in. One side has a mesh because it is open, you know, during a race. I know for me, I have one side open that's mesh in case it's raining, but I put, you know, maybe gel pack or whatever um, that can get wet in it that I need to get to quickly. I put it in there. Um, and this also has, this has a zipper here that will allow you to put things that may, you may need protecting, can't get wet, keys, phone, whatever you have. Um, we'll go in here as well, and again, this I've only done this one time. Katie put it on, and I took it off. So now I got to try and put it back on. Bear with me. Um, this here goes around the frame of the chair. Oh yeah, and. I just, she told me, just match the Velcro, just match the Velcro from end to end. That'll keep it, I don't know, this will, I need to, uh, let me see. I think that's, okay. So from here, this Velcro, match it end to end. Um, what this goes, this is going to go here. Um, let's sit, let me keep it up for now. Ah, here we go. This goes on the end, and I know you're saying, wait a minute, Mike, it's slipping off. However, we have a solution for that. And I'm going to show you in a second. Um, this piece here, yeah, it looks, I'm clumsy with it, just because, like I said, this is the first time I'm actually putting this on. So you have that there. Um... And this one goes here. This one here, I'll, you know, would make sense to probably put it behind the brake, uh, the brake cable. Now, this side will not slide off. Um, so I'll put this on like so. So I have just like this. So you have, and you know what? I will take this down. Put this down like this. And I will turn, I will turn this around. I think I should put this thing on wheels actually, the whole stand. That would be cool, some casting. Um, so that's what you have there, like so. And you zip it up here. I don't know how that kind of looks weird with the angle that I'm at, but um, I'll do a walk around with the camera. I'll grab the camera off the tripod and I'll do a walk around with the wheels on it. So there you have that. And then, of course, here you've got straps for Leo to keep him in. And I'll just, you know what, I'll buckle them here and here. Um, the other thing. The sunshade, which I want to pull this away. Actually, I'm going to put the wheel on now and take this off of the stand. I think it might be easier for me now because now we're working higher. Uh, okay. So the wheel's on. Oh, let me get the front wheel. Look at this bad boy. Uh, not bad. And then you turn it around and boom. I love it. I love wheel covers. Uh, so there you have that. Okay. And now I'm going to attempt to take this off as carefully as possible. Oops. There we go. Ah. Okay. So, we have this here, okay, here we go. So this is pretty much the chair here, this is that there, 
with the uh, this here, the wedge for a slight adjustment, just like so. This goes down here. Fantastic. So we have that there. Um, next, the sunshade, which is pretty cool. So we have this. The sunshade is going to go into here and here. We tried various like clamp-on things, and it's just not, it just doesn't work. Um, we're thinking, you know, if you put this to a bicycle, um, if the shade is hanging off some of the umbrella, like you have on Leo's chair that you showed me where it clamps on, if anything's hanging off, you know, if you're going through trails and it happens to be a small branch or something sticking, you know, out on the side and it gets caught it could you know blow off or get knocked off so what we figured was we made a tight fit here these handlebars are adjustable in and out up and down like this I got it as close as I can again you may want to you know experiment loosen and tighten these nut bolts here that will allow you to adjust the handlebars up and down in and out um, so I got them as close as I can um, like so. So these two aluminum pieces slide in and it's pretty pretty snug and that's how you want it like this and I can get them in just like that and give it a good squeeze there and what you may want to do if you know you're gonna have the sunshade on for a long period of time what I suggest is you get them in and then you can even loosen this up and bring the handlebars out slightly so now there's more torque on them. Right now they're not going anywhere. Um, they're, they're in there good. So you have the shade here and again it's within the wheels of the chair. We thought that was very important. That's a must. We, you don't want to be knocking, uh, getting this thing knocked off if something happens to be sticking out a little bit over the wheel from, from the road or the trail. The next cool thing is if it's a real sunny day or if you want to put your park at the beach, Katie made this as well, which I love. And it just, there's a strip of Velcro in, in, within here. It's, the, uh, it's a soft strip of Velcro here that, um, that easily, you just tuck it down. It's way down within the cushion so it'll keep it taut. Again, this is my first time putting this part on as well. Um, but you do that, get it inside there, and there it is. It's connected to the Velcro. It's nice, it's got the little holes so the airflow can go through it so it doesn't get too hot. You're still able to see through right here, so when you're running with him, you'll be able to see his face. Um, the other cool thing is, and there, it's not painted yet, just made them, um, we had to kind of have everything finished before we actually made them uh, in order to make sure that they fit okay. Uh, they're going to go to powder coat. I th you can definitely roll without these and I'll show you what they are. These are fenders. Check that out. So now, right here is where you have mud that can kick out from the back of the tire. These fenders are going to be black. Uh, or I could paint, well, black might be good. Keep them, they'll be more clean. Or if you want, we can do the same color as a chair. Um, Meredith, whatever you like. Or Leo, whatever you like, buddy. You tell me, um, we'll communicate, but this is it here. And then the other side goes on here as well, like so. And then what, what, in order to keep these, so I'll show you here. What this does is we made this right here in our shop, a little, again, custom made. This goes over the rail, the side rail right here goes over like that like so and this slides in to 
this part, the head tube. Um, so what we've done is, in order to ensure that they don't, you know, they don't pop out of, that they don't pop out of, uh, of here. See, you notice here, we're going to have a strap. We're going to weld a couple little knobs here, bumps basically. And we're going to have a strap that you just do that, and they hold each other in. That's how we basically our blade design the seating the seat cushion is like that side rails go in except you've seen our seating position and uh, we have straps that hold them all together like so I think that's it um, wow what an adventure this chair was uh, we're so excited for you Leo um, I'll tell you man I, I just uh, I look forward to seeing you rolling. Maybe one day I can come down there and uh, uh, roll with you with my buddy Kyle. It's I, I tell the people this all the time. Um, my butt on my bucket list is to roll or run alongside um, everybody that we build a chair for. So that's that's on my bucket list, and uh, I'd love to do that. And especially through trails too. I love to do it with the trails, trail runs. My buddy Kyle and I, I push Kyle in his chair. We got the fat wheels like this, and um, we roll through the woods, we roll through trails, we love it. It's a lot of fun, I know you're going to have a lot of fun, so, um, yeah, this thing is going to go out today. Right now, it's, uh, it's 3.15 on Wednesday, so it's going out today, I want to get it to you for Friday. Uh, I know you guys are heading out for the weekend, so you'll have this, and I hope this video did, 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 did you write did me right for I hope it looks it looks pretty simple it is it just takes some time and getting used to um, like I said I only disassembled it uh, twice so yeah any questions call me 508-474-5150 you got my number email me uh, Facebook me with the with the private messenger we can video chat I can look at things through the phone um, I'm, I'm available I'm available for you at any time all right. Well, I think that was all of it. I may have missed something. I don't think so, but uh, we'll talk soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.